Greetings, 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 my fellow soldiers of the cross. I am Lily of the Valley. I bring you greeting in the name of Jehovah, our Creator, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our King. And I work for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, scattered abroad, showing them things that will harm them. So this is today's topic, Olympic Games, and they're going to award prize money to track and field winners, and you got to know before you participate in things, the origin of it, and where the enticement to do sin comes from comes dressed up in all kind of packages and our scripture says for the love of money is the root of all evil and our people perish because of lack of knowledge so according to the new plan they setting aside 2.4 million to pay gold medal winners across the 48 track and field events at the 2024 Olympics in Paris the $50,000 will be split between members of relay teams. Beginning in 2020, winners of silvers and bronze medals, silver and bronze medals in track and field will receive prize money in addition to medals. According to the president of World Athletics, Sebastian Kuh, the payments reflect the fact that the revenue share received by the governing body of athletics results in large part because track and field athletes are the stars to the show. The prizes will be funded out of the share of the Olympic revenue distributed to world athletics by the International Olympic Committee. Now you're gonna make a note of the word athletes. Olympics is a game that was dedicated to the Greek idols, Jupiter Olympus, all those things. You notice the nakedness and the Bacchus and the Bacchanals and the orgies. This was one of those games dedicated to those idols. Jeremiah 10 says we must learn not the customs of the Eve then. The most I say we mustn't participate in these things. I know a lot of us just participate in things because nobody taught us the origin or what these things do. But know before you go and put your children in that stuff, okay? And also know before you um look at just the money and that you're signing up your soul to participate in things that are of the devil So where does the word athlete comes from? Also, check out Tertullian, T-E-R-T-U-L-L-I-O-N on the shows, the circuses, the games. Remember, our forefathers who died to make us free and to be able to serve the Mosai in spirit and in truth. They were the ones fed to the wild bees. They were in there in the rings for the entertainment and the sport of the evenings. So how is it now that most of the children of Israel worldwide, they dominate these games and they have become the sport, the boxing, the Olympics, the football, the American football, the basketball. Notice every single one of them has to do some type of sin. That goes against the laws of the Mosai. Did you not see that? 
the gourd rings, the power rings, the mixed race marriages, according to Cat Williams. The contract comes with getting one of those wives with a horse face looking mixed race, ambiguous looking people. Or people are supposed to be pure and holy and righteous. They're not to mix their seed with the seed of the heathen. The Bible already said Esau's seed is spoiled. So he comes now and he spoils the seed of Jacob. So Jacob's children don't get their inheritance. So Eusebius is one of the early church fathers. So in his chronicle, he said, I have perused diverse histories of the past which the Chaldeans and the Syrians have recorded, which the Egyptians have written in detail, and which the Greeks have narrated as accurately as possible. These works contain information about the times of kings and Olympiads, which translates athletes. So anybody who call themselves an athlete is also an Olympiad, and they devote their selves, their bodies, their everything to the worship of a Greek idol, Jupiter Olympius. See that in the book of the Maccabees in the Hebrew Bible in the Apocrypha section. Okay? So, when you're signing up to go to the gym, the gymnasium was a Greek custom. That's one of where they go get fit. The, the dojo is an Eastern religion custom from the Japanese Shaolin temples. That's their idols. They also worship those flags. So when you're doing these dojo, Shaolin temple, Olympics, find out who these people worship and what the custom is and where it originated from. If you see that it originated from idolatry, don't put yourself in it or your children in it. All right. So the Bible tells us the things that are holy and righteous for the children of Israel to do and what is not righteous. And he says in Jeremiah 10, learn not the customs of the even because they are vain. Don't participate in these things. Don't put your children in them. When destruction come upon your household, the, the fame and the money may last for a while, but then it becomes like a generational curse. What did their four parents participate in? Were they in the lodges, the bullies, sorcery, shriners, ancestor worship? Were they doing libation, pouring food for the dead? putting marks and tattoos on their skins, marrying mixed races, whoring around the world, worshipping idols like the Rastafarians do. They worship Selassie. You see them marrying and having holy and righteous families. The music is corrupted. They sign over their souls to not criticize Sodom. Well, the Bible says the children of Israel, there should be no Sodomites of the sons of Israel nor no whores of the daughters of um, Israel. Nakedness. You're not supposed to expose your nakedness to anybody except in your own household, your husband and your wife. That's it. None of these nakedness upon the beaches, in the rivers. Notice all of the influencers who are influenced people now. Everybody's naked. Naked, naked, naked. Gym, nakedness. Where do those customs come from? It's designed to make sure the children of Israel don't make it into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Christ. It's designed to take them away from righteousness and holiness. Don't follow them. See Psalm 1, it says, um, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Read that psalm, study it. This is some of the ungodly acts that they do. And they put the children of Israel in so that they don't make it into the kingdom. You have a lot of them that were hired by the Greek or Romans. Look at Psalm 83, the Arabs, to turn them to worship wood and stone and to kill their children and think it's a right. Because they forgot about Herod and Herodias and Margaret Sanger and Pharaoh and Caesar. All those people did was... 
come up with plans to wipe the children of Israel, the Jacob, it's off the face of the earth. But the women and the degeneracy and the sodomites and the homosexuals, it's just another form of making sure that the children of Israel, their numbers are reduced to permanent minority. Then they took out our kings and our queens and our prophets and our elders and our churches all of them went through the earth and took those empires out and kingdoms out, then replaced it with republic and democracy. Then they can bring in their own people from these all different walks of life, Hindus, Chinese, Buddhists, and everybody, and all kind of degenerate custom to replace what is in the scriptures for the children of Israel to do. Okay? So just beware of how these wolves come. In sheep's clothing and don't follow the customs of the heathen. Olympics is a custom of the heathen. Democracy is of the Greeks. The Most High Jehovah gave us a theocracy of tribes, nations, priests, churches, holy, Sabbath days to be kept, the seventh day. Not Sunday like the Pope of Rome tell you to do. Sunday is the first day of the week, not the seventh. The statutes, the commandments, the faith of Jesus Christ. The Bible is our law book. That's what we are to follow. We reject everything else that they bring.